mean? What kind of tool are you using there? Uh, just a planer. Just to plane off the sharp edges of the knots uh, so it doesn't cause tear in your canvas, in your teepee. And it makes it smooth, takes off any rough edges. Professional, like it kind of looks nice when it's all done, smoothed out. And adds that pride that we take in our work. Here at the dance troupe, we do, we do teepee pulls. And this is the finished product that would be. We put on some cotton seed oil to prolong the life of the dick, this tree. What did they use before? To oh, they would have used rock. That had rock that would have shaved that off. Finding rock made out of arrows. They would have found that same rock to file that down with by hand. But, you know, with uh, technology, we just do it in a timely fashion. How many poles do you have to do here? We have to do 15 poles in this territory that we're in. Treaty 6 territory that we're in. With. To honor the, the Cree teepee, the Miigwap, of course, down on the Blackfoot is more, but we're going to use 15 poles here to create this beautiful home. What are the boys doing right now? The boys are preparing the bark to take off the bark to prolong the life of the tree. If you left the bark on, it would rot real quick, it would dry out, but that's why we take off the bark so it prolongs that life. They're using hand tools, those peelers, to take that bark off. Why we're doing it this time of seasons, the seasons don't wait for us. They've never have for hundreds of years, for thousands of years here on this land. So as it would be at this time, we would gather teepee poles because of the, the spring solstice. This is a time of, you know, of the great running of, call it the blood of the tree or the, the nippy, the water of the tree, the sap, the medicines that are running right now in the tree that's so easy to peel. We've got to get our teepee poles in at the time they need to be and it's so much easier to peel them. What did they use to peel them back in the day? Back in the day I would have used uh, like a flint or a stone uh, would have had a shape like these peelers maybe but that would have been what they used back in the day to peel these poles back in the day. You know these tools that we have, these peelers you know, they're very sacred as those peelers back in the day were sacred. We have to take care of our tools that take care of us because it really takes care of our home, our miigwok, our tipi. Teaching these kids about the, the significance and respect of their tools that they use. Make sure you use them in a good way, but also make them put them away so somebody else can use them or they can use them again. And teaching those kids about that respect of taking care of themselves, but also taking care of the tools that take care of us in this creation. This is a Fredix product now, and then we'll put some cotton seed oil on there to, to prolong that life. That's what we want to try and uh, promote to our kids. You know, get back to the land, get back to that health system that's right here. That's our health system. That's what kept us alive for thousands, hundreds of years, and we're trying to teach these kids here with the troop to give them that the sense of belonging, that sense of identity. And I think that's what really it's about, is, and to show these kids that uh, they're not denied this no more. That we're here to, uh, through our elders, and through the teachings, that we're here to, to find that home that you so deserve. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd explain the, the planer, and uh, yeah, oh. other than that, have uh, 